I'd like to talk to you today about plot. No, not that kind. But the plot you find in fiction, in novels, the framework, what moves the story along, the storyline, if you will. In crime fiction, we're fortunate that plot, storyline, is, is essentially, for the most part, very, very simple. You move from point A to point B. I hope you stop here and admire the really high production values we utilize here. But point A to point B. A crime is committed. A crime is solved. The world is made right again. Now, this is not always true in literature in general, or always true in crime fiction. Sometimes we get what's more of a meandering plot. Yeah, I let my garden go golden this summer. Looks pretty neat, doesn't it? Meandering plot doesn't go straight forward, kind of moves this way, that way. You get maybe a point C before you get to point B. And again, perhaps the ending is not quite as satisfactory as in a traditional detective novel or police procedural. But literature is a big house, and there's a lot going on there. Also, authors, well, fiction authors at any rate, are paid, ideally they're paid, to lie for a living. So you might get a novel, a story, that begins with point A, and then moves, moves, moves. But then, in crime fiction, the author might well throw in what's called a red herring, a plot twist that really doesn't go anywhere. Red herrings are particularly popular in British novels, were particularly popular in Alfred Hitchcock movies. You could ask your grandparents about them. And... Uh, they stem from the tradition of bad guys running away in England and dragging a red herring across their path to throw off the dogs. Because there were so many capital crimes in the early days in England, you could be hanged for practically anything. So you wanted to do a good job of getting away, hence the red herring. This is not a real head red herring, by the way. It's just a masterful drawing of one. And then on, eventually, to point B. I hope you found this little instruction useful. And it's probably, like most fiction, a matter of taste.